I'm going to show you today how to use corpus on drums in a really interesting way to come up with more harmonic and tonal drums. So let's dive in. Today I feel like starting from scratch. So what we're going to do is start off with a kick one shot and load that into our MIDI track over here. Create a MIDI clip, go into fourth bar mode and start drawing in that kick. Let's loop this up here. Nice. Now let's create some drums really quick. I'm going to use some loops because I'm feeling lazy today. Add some toms, perhaps. Group them together, give them all the same color. And I feel like the last thing we need is some claps. So I'm just going to put together some claps in a drum rack, preferably one shots. Nice. Just going to look for some layers here. Nice. So four claps, more than enough in a drum rack. Double click to create that MIDI clip. Claps are placed on every second fourth beat. So that's what we're going to draw in here. Dial it down and hit play. Now we can just zoom in and place the claps accordingly. Maybe shift them off grid. Nice. We get that pre-shift effect. Okay, maybe that's a bit too intense. Let's shift these a bit more. Nice. And now let's group all the tops into one channel. So claps, percussion, shakers, we're going to group into a tops group like this. Take away the toms, toms play separately. And here's where the cool part comes in. We're going to load up corpus. This is an audio effect that you can find under reverb and resonance. Ton of different presets as you can see, but we're going to take the default preset and put it onto our tops group like this. And if we hit play, it sounds like this. Pretty random. It seems to apply the characteristic of each and every single one of these materials to our sound. So if we put it on plate, sounds like it's being put through some kind of metal tube or something like that. And if we pitch it down, the tune over here, we can get different tones. And we can mix it in with our drums by dialing up or dialing down the dry wet. So if we just want the tonal signal, 100%. If we just want the drums, 0%. And by messing around with these settings over here, this one, you get a shorter sound, get a brighter sound here, and some inharmonic, some harmonic frequencies, but I'm going to leave those at neutral position and just mess around with the tune here and preferably just switch out the presets. I find string to be very interesting. Or let's stick with plate with a short decay time and now if we group this up so highlight the corpus hit command g open up your chain selectors we're going to call this one chain a or a sharp because we set the tone to a sharp then we can duplicate this and add an harmonic layer we can select a scale and just to demonstrate what i mean i'm going to create a midi track and in that midi track i'm going to double click to create a midi clip we're going to click scale, A sharp. That's the note that we've selected, right? A sharp's over here. Let's stick with the minor scale. For example, minor is a very mellow scale. So I'm just going to go with that for now. Often used in techno. So A sharp, I can see these highlighted notes and these highlighted notes tell me which notes fit to A sharp. For example, I could go for F sharp as well. See, it's highlighted. Let's go back to the drums. I can set this one to F sharp. So we're just going to change the tuning to arrow up, arrow up, arrow up until we get that F sharp. There we go. F sharp two. Now we have a layer that's playing that A sharp and a layer that's harmonically fit, fit to the A sharp. We can also pitch it up to F sharp three, which is right over here. So we get some more tonal drums, which is just awesome. And then we can start messing around with the parameters here. So let's say on layer A sharp, the first layer, we want to go with a marimba sound. Perhaps pitch it down even more, maybe to A sharp zero. Just arrow down until you see A sharp zero here. 
string. Maybe mono it here. They always come with these different quality presets here. I usually stick with medium or high. Gives you different harmonics. Really nice. If you load up an Echo or Echo Boy, something like an interesting delay plugin. Now for the sake of simplicity, I'm going to stick with Echo because Echo gives me some cool rhythms. I'm just going to unlink both of these channels. Set one to, let's say, 16th and the other one to 32. So we have different delay settings on each channel and set them to dotted. Okay, right now we're getting a lot of low end mud into the signal. So I'm just going to low cut here, emphasize the highs a bit more. And if you don't like the delay being applied to the whole entire signal, you can just put it onto single layers. So let's say we just want the delay to be on the F sharp layer. So we're just going to drag and drop it here. Now you see the echoes only being applied to this F sharp layer over here. Whereas the A sharp layer is not being applied by the delay because we don't have it here. So in total, we have something that sounds like this. Really weird, man. It's so cool. And we can change it around. Just change these different settings here. And you get weird tonalities, weird tones to every sound. But 32 might be a bit too much. So let's go for eighth and fourth note. So we get a slower delay rhythm. Rhythm. <laughs> rhythm. Blend in the kick. That's nice. It's pretty dope. For techno-ish type of genres, it can be really interesting. For organic house as well, you just have to fine tune your settings. I find that lower decay times give you a more organic signal, whereas longer decay times result in a very tonal and techno type sound. So let's reduce the decay times. And just mess around with these settings until we get something that we like. I kind of like the tube, to be honest, though. Maybe you can just add 100% dry wet on one layer. Sun is shining. Yeah. And if you'd like to extend it, you can also add additional harmonics. So right now we have two layers. Just as a reference, I'm going to open up this MIDI clip again. A sharp, F sharp, and let's go for C sharp. So C sharp would be another harmonic that we can add to the corpus. I'm just going to duplicate this guy over here. Call this one C sharp. We just have to tune it accordingly. I'm going to tune it down until we see that C sharp. C sharp three is good. C sharp two is also pretty good. So we're going to stick with that. Okay, maybe shorten down the decay time. We can literally build ourselves chords here as well. What you could do is then automate the tune time to change every now and then, or you can add an LFO, max for live LFO, map it to the tune and set it to binary so it jumps between two values. Reduce the depth so it doesn't jump as much. Offset it a bit. So now you see it's jumping between D sharp and C sharp two at a rate of one hertz. Or we could also change it to a note value, make it change every fourth beat. So basically it'll change either the D sharp or the C sharp two every fourth beat. Nice. Pretty cool results. You can also multi-map. So opening up this panel allows you to multi-map. Just going to click map and apply that to the other layers as well. So we get some different tones every fourth beat. In terms of sound design, this is amazing. Pretty freaking cool. But I'm going to take away the LFO. And if you want to keep your sound rather short and stuttery, make it more emphasized on the transients, you can then add a gate. You can find that in audio effects, dynamics, gate, and simply dial down the threshold a bit. So the tonal signal doesn't overwhelm the drums. You get more of the impacts or the transients from the drums themselves. Nice. 
can also mess around with the dry wet at any point. Let the drums come through a bit more. And again, just mess around with the different material settings until you get a sound that you really enjoy. Add some reverb maybe on top. Or put it into my sends over here. And last but not least, we can then also sidechain it to our kick. So I'm gonna load up a compressor, open up the sidechain panel input from kick, reduce the threshold, pick with a delay. So now I have some more tonality to my drums and messing around with the different percussion sounds or top loops gives you a different result. So then I could also switch it out for another sound like this one here. and maybe add some kind of a drum loop outside of this group so we get more drums to push through the mix. It's so freaking cool. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, feel free to like and subscribe. I'm gonna make this project file available on Patreon and these sounds are available on Lotus Tunes. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.